It's your boy Jose, and this video is going to be about hypovolemic anemia. Squad. Hypovolemic anemia is basically a blood loss. That's what it is. It's a blood loss. It's an anemia related to a blood loss. It's related to hemorrhaging, which is basically like, you know, trauma or whatever. Burns. Well, you know, burn is. Menorrhea, which is a excessive amount of blood loss related to menstruation for women. Of course, guys, don't get that. You should know better bros. Or it could be a GI bleeding. The sign of symptoms decrease blood pressure because you know there's not enough volume but an increase in heart rate and the reason why there's an increase in heart rate is because the body's trying to compensate it's trying to be like yo son we need to push as much blood out because if not the body's going to shut down not the body the organs going to start shutting down so we need to do that asap other than that you're also going to see a decrease urine output then the reason why there's a decrease in urine output is the body again trying to be like yo son we don't even have that much fluid we don't even have that much blood we need to hold into as much as we can urinating we're gonna lose more fluid we're gonna hold into this and boom and because there's like a decrease in blood flow don't be surprised that you'll start seeing cyanic sign of symptom but which is like bluish discoloration related to decreased circulation don't be surprised that you'll be seeing dyspnea this difficulty breathing and that's all related to a lack of oxygen being like diffused in your body because blood equals oxygen just meaning it because you don't have enough oxygen and stuff like in the red blood cells or whatever also notice that you're also going to notice like restlessness the way you diagnose this is a uh, CBC or sometimes a bone marrow the bone marrow exam and that's to just rule out things the intervention for this will be like control the bleeding control the bleeding as in like you know if there's trauma you're gonna put apply pressure because you don't want it to come out more also know that there's going to be blood transfusion and when it comes down to blood transfusion there's a couple of things you need to know you need at least two people within the scope of practice one has to be your RN other than that you need to get the consent you need to get the order and you gotta make sure that the order the consent and the patient all make sense and that's one reason why you need two people because those two people would legit verify this you want to monitor vital sign before and after when it comes down to after just know that you're going to be monitoring the vital signs and when it comes down to vital signs after just know that you're going to be monitoring the vital signs every 15 minutes every 15 minutes within the first hour then afterward every like four hours and what you're going to monitor for the blood transfusion is signs of fluid overload and that's one reason why you're going to listen to the lung to the lung sounds and all that too when there's a fluid overload, you're going to hear crackles. So you need to monitor lung sounds. You're going to monitor for hives. Hives is a sign of a uh, reaction. You're going to monitor for hypothermia because blood is cold when they're gonna give it to you unless it's warm but you're gonna monitor for hypothermia aside from blood transfusion another intervention will actually be like a IV fluid to just bring up the volume to bring up the volume you're going to increase iron and that's you know because you need iron iron binds to oxygen and oxygen in your body is an awesome thing because lack of oxygen in your body equals to necrosis and necrosis equals to ischemia and that's not good of course you want to monitor fighter sign you're also going to monitor for i know and you're going to monitor for weight you're going to monitor for bleeding you're going to monitor for ino you're going to monitor for weight you're going to monitor for bleeding you're going to monitor for bleeding but that's what you're going to monitor for and that's basically hypovolemic anemia